Hiya, welcome to the shortest uh, video I'll ever make. What is an IR? There's a lot of confusion about what IRs are, but it's a very simple answer. An IR is a measurement of a type of speaker in a type of cabinet recorded by a type of microphone in a room. So let's quickly go through that uh, one item at a time. Your modeler probably comes with what people call stock cabs. A stock cab is not an IR. It's a emulated speaker cabinet, which is made the same way that the emulated amplifier is made. Um, it's a digital recreation of a real physical item. Whereas an IR is a digital measurement of a physical item. So the person making an IR will take a speaker cabinet, he will put a known sound into that speaker cabinet, and then he will measure the output. And by looking at the differences between the known sound he put in and the sound that came out, he can deduce what effect the speaker cabinet has had on that sound. So by applying the same change to any sound, it's as if you put that sound through the speaker cabinet that was measured. Now, obviously, lots of things affect the sound that's coming out of the speaker cabinet. The build of the cabinet, the number of speakers in it, what microphone was used to collect the sound and what room it's in, so the bloom around the sound. So when you buy an IR, you don't get one IR, you generally get loads of them. They will have measured, uh, say it's a 4 by 12 cabinet, they would have measured each speaker separately, then they would have measured like all of the speakers from slightly further back. They will have used five or six different types of microphones in all different combinations. Um, it goes on and on. So your job when you buy an IR pack is to filter through them and find the one you like and stick with it or else you'll be lost in the weeds and you'll just be trying it all day every day to pick the IR you like. I, I boil it down pretty quickly to the one I like and I stick with it. Um, that's all an IR is. An IR is not um, a replacement amplifier. It's not a tone generation device. It's just a measurement of of a speaker cabinet, a speaker, a microphone, and a room. Um, IRs do come with high cuts and low cuts, and you will want to cut both of those things, um, because when you're listening to an actual guitar cabinet in a room, you're hearing a lot of middle. There's not much going on over five to sort of seven K. Um, obviously, it's to your choice where you dial it back. Now, why is this? Well, it's because if you imagine you're in a recording studio and you have your amplifier in the control room and your speakers are in the live room and you're listening to your speakers through a microphone in the live room played back on the studio monitors in the control room, you're hearing your amplifier through a microphone. And that's how the IR is made. You're hearing the effect through a microphone. So there's always a microphone in the chain in an IR and a microphone is a full frequency um, device. It will pick up all frequencies. Consequently, it needs to be played back through a full range speaker like a studio monitor or an FRFR guitar cabinet, which is a full range guitar cabinet. But you don't necessarily want to hear all of those tones because you want to hear your guitar cab. So you would then reverse engineer it back to the original sound, which doesn't have a microphone in front of it, just your ear. So lose all the top, lose some of the bottom. It sounds counterintuitive, I want less, but guitar amps always give less, they're horrible. To prove this, just play your favorite record through your guitar cabinet, it will sound awful. And that's the difference. When you buy an IR, it comes as a WAV file. That's how the IR loader in the Headrush or standalone IR loaders um, like to receive them. They come in various bit rates, 24, 48, 96. Obviously, the higher the bit rate, the more detail. 48 is fine. Um, and they come in different lengths. So you'll find them in 2048 samples in length and 1024 samples in length. 1024 ones just save some DSP in the uh, modeler. Um, that's more of use to Helix users. They run out of DSP quicker than we do. I'd stick with the 2048 full length ones unless you get really desperate and then use a 1024 one. I can never tell the difference. Uh, just to illustrate that, here's a 2048 sample, 48 kilohertz IR file played orally. There we are. There's exciting for you. Anyway, that's about as far as we can go for now with IRs. 
I hope that's explained what an IR is. I could have gone on and on and on and on, but I'm choosing not to. I'll put this out and I might delete it when comments come in and people ask other questions and they want other explanations and we'll evolve this video as we go. But for now, that's what an IR is. Bye.